Hey, how you doing? Welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Today's topic is going to be a collective zodiac read for the sign of Virgo, sun, moon, or rising. Virgo, this is who is coming towards you, okay? So remember that this is a collective read. It may or may not resonate with you fully. You can always book a personal reading with me up through January, like mid-January or so. Um, I'll have readings available through until then. So book if you can, okay? Um, if you would like while you can so i want to thank you all so much for all of the likes the subscribes the support to the channel through tips and donations as well i want to thank you all so much for everyone that has book personals with me everyone that has bought oracle cards with me and including merch it is greatly appreciated and know that it goes right back into the channel okay now remember that here it is fluid this could play out past present or future take it how it resonates and you can always check out my playlist for additional collective reads. So Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Let's delve into this. This is a timeless reading on who's coming towards you. What's their energy right now, please and thank you. So the person that's coming towards you could be obsessed with you, okay? You could have had some type of ending with them. For a lot of y'all, I'm not even going to cap. You could have had a one-night stand with this person. And they're still thinking about you. In fact, they're coming towards you. Okay. What else? Yeah, this person could be a Taurus. Okay. Sun, moon, or rising. Or they could have Taurus in their eighth house. So this is someone who is very possessive. It's like you thought you was just going to sleep with this person and leave them alone. No. Soul tie. Like, this is somebody who has not gotten over you. Virgo, sun, moon, or rising. What else? Yeah. Sixth house. This is somebody who really doesn't sleep around a lot. They may not have a lot of sexual partners, which is nothing wrong with that, okay? This is somebody that's very particular, but at the same time, they're very possessive, okay? So it's like you slept with this person, and now they've been in your energy ever since, like... I'm getting like that you kind of trying to curve them or you trying to have space from them, but they don't want that. Okay. This is somebody who has a very masculine energy. Okay. It's like once they want something, all they know is go. Okay. This is somebody who's going to think of creative ways to just extend the olive branch towards you. Okay. And this person is very particular about their appearance. Okay. So much that they may have an insecurity about their appearance, okay? This is someone who you could have had some type of sexual connection with. And it's like they never let it go. Whether this was somebody like a one-night stand or somebody that was like a third party, like a friend with benefits or something. But it's like ever since they've been tied to you, this person doesn't want to let you go. They have a lot of lust, sexual energy, and taboo-like energy, okay? This is somebody that may even be okay with being a third party, okay? With this transformation, with this Pluto, cycles, death, or rebirth, evolve, like I said, this is somebody that doesn't want to leave you alone, okay? They don't want to let you go. They want to continuously try to evolve this situation and move into a new cycle with you. This person could be a cancer, sun, moon, or rising, or they could have it somewhere highly aspected in their chart, okay? Maybe you thought because this person pulled away for a little while that they was leaving you alone, but they really weren't, okay? What else can I tell Virgo? Sun, moon, or rising about the person that's coming towards them. Please and thank you. What else can I tell Virgo? That this person won't romance with your ass. That this person is still very much enticed by you. Okay? They're open to romance. It's like they feel like you're their person. They're really in savoring the moment. And I don't know if you went on a trip with this person. I don't know if it's something that you did with this person and then you realize like, yeah, this, is, this isn't this is going to work out for me. They're still stuck in that energy, okay? Yeah, with the deception here, I feel like some part of you deceived this person, okay? 
they're wearing a mask though. They really are because it's like they want to see they want you to see them in some type of superficial light, okay? It's like they're painting a picture for you to like them more, okay? Hmm. This person wants to deceive you so that you will choose them, okay? With the soulmate energy, this person feels like you're their soulmate. They feel some type of tie to you, okay? If I part the deck, we even have marriage, all right? This person wants to take the next step with you. But look at your energy. It's a no. It's a no for you, all right? If I even pull one more, you're stuck. You're stuck on no. And quite frankly, you could have even voiced this to this person, Okay, but they're waiting around because they feel like you're big goals. You're something that they want to obtain. Okay. And maybe they just kind of backed off for a little bit to give you a little bit of time. But they, I'm telling you, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Horizon, this person is going to rush back the fuck in. Okay. What else can I tell Virgo about the person that's coming towards them, please? And thank you. That the person wants equal give and take, and they may even come in bearing gifts. Okay. This is somebody that gets like overly nice. It's almost like love bombing. Um, maybe that's what it is, but it's like they're really kind of obsessed with you. Okay. Yeah, this person is watching you. Okay. They're trying to figure out how can they have equal give and take with you? How what can they do? to persuade you to be with them that's where this deception comes in and the romance okay yeah with the king of swords i feel like you're being very cold and detached towards them or at least they feel like that they feel like you have some type of information on them or you're judging them some type of way very kind of insecure kind of someone that wants to use superficial things to build themselves up or even they may even just really take care of themselves or try to above and beyond. This may be someone that um, is real superficial about, and not really superficial, but very conscientious of their hygiene and, you know, things like that, like a perfectionist, all right? With the Queen of Pentacles here, this is somebody that is fertile and that would like to have a family with you. So be mindful of that. But at the same time, this is somebody that wants you to see that they can stand up on their own. Like they may be like, well, I'm financially stable. I have my own place. You know, like it's always something else that they can add to a situation to make it seem like you should pick them. Okay. This person is obsessed with you. They could have Capricorn in their chart, Sun, Moon, or Rising, um, but they're obsessed with you. And this person literally tries to morph themselves into someone that you would like. Maybe they know of the other person that you're involved with or someone that you were involved with in the past. And it's like they continuously compare themselves to that person, okay? With the Ace of Pentacles here, this person wants to give you this offer. It's like the offer of a lifetime, okay? Um, they know that you're in indecision and they feel in indecision as well. Because they're like, will you even take this offer? This person is waiting. It's like they drop a line like you're a fucking fish or something. They drop a line with some bait and they're waiting for you to fucking take it. And then it's like when you don't take it, they're all in their head and depressed. They're all, you know, like, oh my God, Virgo is single. What are they doing? Who are they with? It's like you all had some type of dynamic where it was like friends with benefits or it was like the situation never really took off for them to be like starting to question you. It's like they know that it's a barrier there where they just can't come in and be like, yeah, why you didn't call me today? Or, you know, it's something like that where they just have to sit back and watch and see how they can come in and persuade you. Moving forward, I feel like this person still feels like you're their home, okay? And they could be really trying to get you to come over to their home for sexuality. This person could be really like trying to entice you. This person, if they're a woman, they have like some type of shape. They could have like a nice butt and legs and thighs. And they're like hoping that that would entice you, Virgo, or vice versa. This could be someone that has a nice body, physique, 
um, bill. And it's like, they want to get you to their house so they can entice you so that they can seduce you. And maybe that's how it worked out in the past. Lastly, we have healing. This person is going to make it seem like they're healed and everything is fine. But I promise to you, Virgo, this person is highly obsessed with you. Okay. We pay attention to the signs. It's like any little thing that they see, they're like reading into it more. Maybe you finally text them back like a good morning or something like that. And they're like, yes, Virgo wants me. I got them you know, type of energy with the Phoenix rising. That's that energy. It's like, they're trying to find out whatever fucking way that they can to rekindle because they love you. But it's like a soul tie. So how is this situation going to pan out? Like moving forward, what is going to be this person's next actions? How is it going to play out? Please and thank you. Here we have, what do you need to release? This person is like, but I could release this. I could release that. It's like they could release everything and change and morph into this person that you need them to be, but they can't let you go, okay? Um, Spirit is telling me to say that you are protected. So for those of you out there that are kind of worried, I feel like you are protected. So don't, you know... Um, feel like your life is threatened or anything but yes they are obsessed with you okay um here we have have faith in your dreams okay this person is just really believing that they could have this really trying to manifest it and bring it out and to the ethers and to reality okay expect powerful change oh man and then you're very close to achieving your goal. It's like this person is like working themselves up, up until this moment, okay? And what are you going to do? The end of a tough cycle approaches. Let me pull one more and step out of your comfort zone. You could have um, your North Node could be in Capricorn, Virgo, or this person. But it's like something is coming to a head. And if this person is, if you consciously know that this person, it just won't leave you the fuck alone. Know that this is coming to an end. Know that it's going to boil over into a head, you know, where you may go off on this person or you may make it so fucking clear to them with this uh, King of Swords that you don't want anything to do with them, you know, I feel like it's going to be very blatantly in their face and they're going to have to walk away. Okay. So if this message resonated with you, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Horizon, smash that like button. And if you want to see more collective Zodiac reads like this one, smash that like button. I want to thank you so much for all of your love, support, tips, and donations to this channel. And to the end, peace and love.